In this video trade, we're going to look at the bear trap trading setup on a higher time frame with major currency pairs. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. If you're subscribed to the channel, appreciate your support. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is a bear trap trading setup. Right, what is a bear trap? Now you could say some smart guy is going to say, here's the opposite of a bull trap. We've already done a video on a bull trap. Yes, I have. And if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. But there are some slight differences, which is why it's worth another video and another chat. Because often these things, people think, okay, well, a bear is the same as the bull. And very often in some of the cases, it is, right? You can flip on his head some candlestick patterns like bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing. You can just flip them on the head and they're very, very similar. However, when you start going out on the time frames, there are little nuances that are different between the bull side and the bear side. Why is that? It's because people are more scared of being caught out and generally people are long. So when they're long and they're trapped long as in a bull trap, there's a little bit more panic as they're losing money. The bear trap, not so much. It's the fear of missing out unless, of course, people are stuck short. And of course, that's one of the reasons the bear trap works. But I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Let's talk about how this operates. Then we'll look at the difference between the bulls and the bear trap, the bull and the bear trap. So this is on a higher time frame chart so your dailies and your weekly time frames you can go lower but you don't get as much meat on the bone because you don't get as many people trapped obviously a weekly candle you've got a week's worth of people potentially being trapped whereas a 15 minute you've only got 15 minutes and that just seems obvious uh, as to the volume that you're going to get into that so Markets, major FX pairs, it works very, very nicely on. So your GBP USD, your Euro US dollar, USD JPY, GBP JPY, any of those, a few of the miners as well. Don't go down to the exotics, they're too thin. Settings on your chart, naked chart, daily time frame, weekly time frame, uh, candlesticks or bars as you choose. Okay, so a couple of examples for you here. The idea of this is that people are selling short or are coming out of their long as we go under the low. Okay, now, obviously for FX, the idea of bull versus bear is a little bit different because you're trading one against another. You're not necessarily long. You're long one and you're short another and you can just flip it on its head. So my comments about bull and bear obviously apply more to your indices, your thicker stocks, which these do work well on your top top indices, your major indices and your thicker stocks. You can assume that the bull and bear are similar on major FX pairs unless there's a distinct reason why people are in. For example, going back many years, a lot of people, a lot of hedge funds are in the USD JPY carry trade. That was well known. You can assume then that perhaps there's going to be a trap door set for those people. Same about the... Um, the Swissy, a lot of people were positioned on the Swiss when we had the real the Swiss unpegging, and there's a trap reason there. So you need to be a little bit clever when you're trading FX, guys. You need to look and think, are the majority of people positioned in one direction and why? Are they positioned short US dollar because of a, a, a potential economic event or perceived economic event? Are they positioned short pound because of a perceived economic event like Brexit and they're wrong or they're potentially right? Whatever, you've got to try and extrapolate that a little bit. So it's why it comes a little bit different with your major FX pairs. Anyway, let's look at the technicals. The technicals are you attempt to break through a low, you fail, you get people out of their longs or you get people sucked into a short and then the thing reverses. GBP JPY up here for you, one day chart. This is the perfect bear trap. You have a scenario where this resistance has held for many, many months. Eventually you break through, it's a daily chart by the way, you get one, two, three, four days and then it reverses. It's trapped everybody who wanted to go short here or who's covered their position or covered their long positions and then you've had a multi hundred point, hundred pip rally off that low. So what do we look for in this and how do we trade this thing? Now obviously I'm not going to sit here and say to you this is always going to work because sometimes markets are going to break out right this is the name of the game we are tossing up or should i say weighing up the difference between the odds of success and the risk reward ratio the beauty of this trade guys is that the risk to reward ratio is big so you can be wrong a lot of the time but when you are right you are getting it really right 
And the other beauty of it is you can quantify the risk so, so systematically, it's child's play. So we come down here, you wait for the level to break. We don't know whether this thing's gonna completely collapse and do a thousand pips to the downside yet. However, when we start to push back up, there's always a signal candle. There's always something. You always normally get two candles. One is the warning candle. And that's kind of this one here that pushes up, or maybe you get a wick below that wicks and then pushes back up. A little warning sign intraday that suggests that this thing may reverse. Now, if you're aggressive, you take it on that. You get a higher risk reward ratio, but the probability of success goes down. Up to you to decide how you want to play that. However, there's always a signal candle that really just brutally undoes all the work of the bear and closes this is the one here this is your signal candle here so you'd be going along at this position 128 whatever it is the close and you'd be having a stop at 125 or so reasonably wide but the risk to reward ratio is decent because the high of this range is up at 138 so you're talking you know a hefty 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 decent size uh, reward risk ratio risk reward ratio however you want to put it so let's have a look at another one and let's go to a higher time frame. Let's look at a weekly time frame on GBP USD. Now look, this is the same kind of thing, but on a weekly you're going to get one shot at it and obviously the, the stops are going to be wider. If you want to be clever, you can use multi time frame analysis and go on your weeklies and then go down to your dailies and if you get it on both, you can pull the trigger and perhaps you just stop on a daily so it's a little bit narrower, giving you a higher risk reward ratio than going full out on the weeklies, which is going to mean you know multiple hundred pip stops. So same kind of thing. We break through the lows. Everyone is aboard. Everyone's short pound US dollar. Everyone's covering their longs, closing their longs. It's the obvious place where people put stops. Then the next week on the weekly chart doesn't happen. And obviously, if we see it on a daily, we'd see multiple kind of candlesticks blow that then reverse. Close above the high. The trap is set. Bang. And as you can see, in subsequent weeks, this thing, well, even in, even in the kind of 10 weeks after, you get a very, very significant lift. But then after that, the trap is set and, and we end up lifting off and it completely reversing the trend for the next year. So that's also the power of these trades is that on the higher time frames they can precede a hefty hefty trend so if you're someone out there who's looking for those swing moves over multiple quarters many months then this is the trade to spend some time finessing because it will get you on board these potential reversals yes you'll get stopped out but as you can see the risk to reward ratio of taking something like this there's your risk here if i just i'll just draw it on quickly with a pen why not you know there's our risk here but look at the reward if we're hoping for multiple quarters or a year worth of trend change it's significant right we're talking 20 to 1 plus so this is why this thing can be so so powerful um slightly different if we're looking at the major indices and the stocks because people are going to be if they're trapped short and there's a high interest and again we've gone to something like finvis to see the short interest in a stock look at the short interest if we start pushing to lows then we rip up high we can assume that they are the traders that are trapped in this bear trap because they're pressing the shorts they're coming out people are coming out of the longs and there's an aggressive reversal you're not quite as aggressive as the other way around like i alluded to at the beginning of the video so if we're going to highs everyone's piling in then we reverse because you've got fresh meat coming into the highs who are panicking now and are weak and are coming out. So you don't quite get the same unless you have got the trap short. So be aware of that when you're trading FX, uh, sorry, when you're trading your major indices or your stocks. Major FX, not so, not so important. However, still very, very powerful very very powerful on both the bull trap and the bear trap side so that was the bear trap side guys weekly time frame daily time frame you can see where you put your stops very finite very finite very very clear decent risk reward ratio the probably success is lower than a lot of the other setups but it more than makes up for it with the juice that you can get out of the trade if you get it right all right guys take care see you in the next one bye bye